Alright, so you want to learn how to dodge offset in Bayonetta, or you want to play Bayonetta like a boss. First off, let's explain what dodge offset is for the uninitiated. Dodge offset is a combat technique which was first developed in Bayonetta and has appeared in simpler forms in later Platinum game titles like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and The Wonderful 101. The basic idea behind it is being able to continue your combo after dodging, so instead of having to start over at the beginning again, you can continue the combo and deliver more damage. There are two advantages to this. Not having to start at the beginning of a combo means you're on your way to a Wicked Wii faster, and Wicked Wii's mean more combo points. You may notice this if you watch combo videos of Bayonetta, but attacking without Wicked Wii's for a while will eventually make each hit worth only one combo point. This is known as a score reduction penalty. I'll just quickly take the time to explain score reduction penalty. Working with an example, a regular punch with Scarborough Fair is worth 10 combo points. If you continue to hit Angel without a Wicked Weave or a special combo type modifier, like attacks which cause angels to hit into one another, or angel weapons for example, this score will halve and continue to do so until it hits one. Which isn't great for your final combo score. The score can only be reset with the Wicked Weave or those other special combo types I mentioned earlier. Being able to dodge offset combos that have Wicked Weaves will mean this will hardly ever happen. Secondly, dodge offset will make you a much better player overall. It will make moving from normal to hard and from hard to non-stop much easier, and well yeah, it is, a, it is possible to finish the game on all difficulties without having to use dodge offset, but trust me, it's a lot easier if you have like dodge offset. Plus dodge offset does look so cool anyway. So as what seems to be normal with Platinum games, the explanation for dodge offset is kind of hidden and not explained too clearly. I'm going to explain it here in a um, dodge offset for dummies manner. Let's work with the simplest combo that ends in a wicked weave, the punch kick punch combo. Chances are when you first start playing Bayonetta you will only tap the buttons to perform this combo. The first step to learning dodge offset is to learn how to extend each part of the combo. While the game does explain how to extend combos by holding down the punch or kick buttons, it will feel a little weird at first. I suggest practicing this with the handguns to get a good feel for the rumble of the controller as well as the visual feedback from the bullet spraying everywhere. Start by holding down punch, pause, then hold down the next button in the combo, in this case kick, pause, then hold down the next button, punch. So instead of this, we get this. Learn to incorporate this into your gameplay to make the learning dodge offset easier. So the next part is the actual dodge offsetting. If you're just tapping the buttons for a combo and you have to dodge, your combo will break and you'll have to start over at the beginning. However, we've just learnt to extend the combo by holding down the buttons. So when holding down the buttons, then dodging, it's just natural to hold down both the punch or kick buttons and tap the dodge button at the same time. Practice this by holding down punch or kick and dodging at regular intervals. Don't double tap because that will put you in panther mode. You should be able to feel and see the difference between this kind of dodging and the regular kind. Dodge offsetting with the handguns equipped will result in bullets spraying everywhere, while dodging without holding that button down is quiet in comparison. Once you have the hang of dodging with a button held down, it's time to combine it all together. Again, working with the punch kick punch combo, hold down punch, tap the dodge button, then hold down kick, tap the dodge button, then hold down punch. So there, you have just dodge offset it. Congratulations. Practice with this until it feels comfortable. You can then try other combos. Dodge offsetting combos in the air also works on the same principle. There really is no other way to explain it other than to tell you to go practice, so go practice. So there, you have the very basic idea behind dodge offset. Next I'm going to cover some more advanced techniques. You can use dodge offset to cancel out of animations you don't want to perform. At its most basic example, this would be cancelling the animations for the punch and kick and the punch kick punch combo just to finish with the punch wicked weave. This works with all combos, however, and can look pretty sweet when combined with other dodge offset techniques. You can do this with both air and ground combos.
Panther or Lynx offset is an extension of the basic dodge offset principle. Instead of just tapping the dodge button, double tap dodge to get into Panther mode and keep whatever button in the combo held down while in Panther mode. To get out of Panther mode, press the next button in the combo. This works for ground combos only. An exception to this rule seems to be the sword or Sharaba, where you can dodge offset with the panther and jump into the air. Crow or owl offset works exactly the same way as the panther or lynx offset, except you do it in the air. You can combine this with some summon feathers to do extra damage. The only way to get out of crow mode and continue offsetting the combo is to dodge. Note that you can offset combos started in the air and continue them on the ground. Taunt offset is similar to dodge offset. But instead of dodging to offset the combo, you tap the taunt button instead. Taunt offset is different in that you do not hold down any button while taunting, but just tap the button. So tap punch, kick, tap taunt, then hit punch. In some ways it's easier than, easier than dodge offset as you're not holding down a face button and a trigger at the same time, but the timing can be a little finicky. You can only taunt on the ground, so don't bother trying this in the air. Umbran Spear is a technique you buy at Redan's after the Lost Holy Grounds chapter. You will need to buy the Umbran Crow technique first though. The mechanics of this offset is the same as a taunt offset, but instead of taunting, double tap the lock on button with a left stick push towards an enemy. Again, as with taunt offset, the timing is a little tricky and it will need a lot of practice to get the hang of. This works on both the ground and in the air. Accessory offset is something I discovered while playing around with Survey's Lover. Um, so the idea behind it is that you can disable or enable, uh, enable accessories in the middle of a combo. The accessories need to be the kind you activate using punch and kick, so Survey's Lover, Infernal Communicator or Pillage Butterflies are your options here. This one is a little tricky to execute and explain, honestly. The idea is after executing a punch or kick, to hit the other button required to activate the accessory. So for example, in the punch-kick-punch punch combo, hold down punch, and while keeping punch held down, hit kick at the same time. This will activate the accessory. After you hear the finger snap, you can continue on with the combo as normal. The same goes for disabling the accessory for theft. So now that you understand and know of all the different kinds of offset possible, let's take a look at some snippets and break it down in terms of the kind of dodge offsetting used and how they can be combined together.
have fun experimenting.